family left farmer 73 here what if you actually scored some land what if you found the land of your dream while you're cultivating your land and getting your land together you need to kind of stay somewhere you need to set up some kind of temporary shelter so you can clear your land and take it easy what if i told you vivor has a bell tent that might just do the job I'm about to set this up and we're gonna put it through the test. Let's go. Today we got Vivor seven millimeter bell tent. I'm gonna set this up and get it going. Roll that out of this nice bag. This is gonna be our center post here. And this is gonna be our entry post. And we have a bag of steaks. Now that I have the tarp rolled out, I'm going to get my tent set up. Now that I have it where I want it, laid out right, now I can start staking it down with the steaks. Now that I have it all staked down, I'm going to run the center post up the middle. All right, we got our center post. What's cool about this is it's spring-loaded, quick connect. You just attach them like that, let the chain pull them together, and all of a sudden you see that link? It guides you right in there. Nothing else to do. Now I have my center post. Now, unfortunately, there is no cool way to do this part. Not cool way to do it, but got to do it. First, we have to go in and find the center. And you want to set your pole, that plunger, dead center of your bell tent. If not, your tent is going to be off a little bit. We found dead center right here. I want to push that out. We're going to set our plunger right in the center of that and push this whole tent up. Got the center. I'm trying to get it to the center pad right here. Inch by inch. Got it. That's it. So, let's go out and see how this looks. That's it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our front door post, pull that tight, and then we're gonna stake down the rest of the tent. Okay, you're gonna wanna come back inside the tent for this part. What we're gonna do right now is set up our A-frame for our doorway, the same way we set up our center post, just like that. Now, what we wanna do is take this post and put it through this center hole right here in the center of the tent doorway, right here. Just like that, we're gonna raise the whole front end up. And we're gonna run each side, each foot on either side in the pockets in the corners. Here's a pocket here. Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. We are 
ready to go. Before we start running our stakes to set our foundation, you want to put this cap right on the top of this nipple here, just like this. That's your rain fly. That keeps the rain out of that hole. Now we want to grab this and we want to pull that front until that tightens up, just like that. Not too tight because we can adjust that. Now we can tighten that up with the adjustable tightener, however we need to do it. Next thing, before we tighten anything else, zip your tent back up. That way it's easy to close every time. You don't over tighten your tent. Just like that. So now all we're gonna do is pull all the ropes tight and stake it down. So this is our finished product. Good looking tent, huh? It's huge. Let's go check out the inside. Come on. Welcome to the Vivor tent. Look at all of the space. Wow. A lot happens when you turn your back, don't it? As you can see, we have a space for our wood stove and I got it going out of the side stove jack hole instead of the top. I have my refrigerator freezer and my Blue Eddy solar power generator. I got a fan running. I have a electric scooter and I was doing some work earlier with my Vivor electric sprayer. I got my cot in here and I'm hauling more stuff in here. This thing is huge. It's massive. Got somewhere to come over and sit down and eat. This tent is massive. Good quality, double stitched. thick canvas tent. There you go, you guys. Vivor did it again. This is it, you guys. It has a lot of wonderful features that I can see already. Let's count them off. One, two, three, four, five, six external windows. We also have double stove jacks for our wood stove. The base of this is removable by the zipper. It, you can see the zipper line here. You can remove this whole base and roll this edge up and it'll be just a canopy. This is awesome. You have a screen front door. A lot of tents won't give you this mesh screen front door. I don't know why, but a lot of tent companies won't give you this. Vivor does come with the screen tent and it comes with your main flap door. So this is awesome, you guys. Let's go out here and see how it looks. So if you're thinking about purchasing land and you need somewhere to set up shop, set up some kind of shelter, this can be an alternative. You can also use this for storage. If you already have an RV or a camper or existing shed that you're currently living out of, this can be that extra storage shelter for you. You can put all of your extra stuff because guess what? You can't put everything in your camper. You can't put everything in your shed. 
this is a lot of storage space that you could be utilizing in the meantime. So you can either live in this, use it for storage, no matter what you use it for, it's affordable. It could be permanent. Hope you like this, you guys. I'll put the discount uh, codes below. Lev Farmer 73 I love you guys. Thank you, Vivor, for sending me out the 7mm Bell tent. It's huge, and it's comparable to all the other tent companies that I've dealt with. And as we all know, the tent that I had before from Vivor, top quality. You guys saw me live in that thing almost all winter long. So here is the single 7mm bell tent by Vivor. Thank you guys. Lev Farmer 73, I love you, and I'm out.